Hi there, welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you an essential marker template. This template will help you easily highlight, mark, and zoom in on objects and areas in your video. As usual, you can find the download link in the description below. Unzip the downloaded file and simply double-click the DRFX file to install the template in DaVinci Resolve. To apply the effect, drag the template from the effects panel to the current clip displayed in the viewer or the clip on the timeline. Right away, you will see an animated rectangle box added to the clip. To reposition and resize the box, enable the fusion overlay in the viewer and adjust the box position and size using the on-screen controls. Or adjust the parameters in the inspector. There are a few other different marker types you can choose from. Ellipse, circle, straight line. We'll talk more about these dash types in a moment. To highlight the marked area, you can check the solid option and adjust the opacity to have a highlighter effect. Or uncheck the solid option, reset the opacity, adjust the source brightness. If you don't need the border, set the border width to zero. In addition to highlighting the area, you can also zoom in on the subject to have a more focused view. To have the marker always follow the moving object, you can keyframe the center parameter. Add a keyframe at the beginning. Reposition the marker. Go to the end of the clip, move the marker to the new position. A keyframe is added automatically. In the viewer, a straight path is created between the start point and end point. To match the path with the road, select each point, drag the handles to adjust the curve of the path. When you play the clip, you may notice that the car is not always in the center. Stop the playback where the car and the marker are most misaligned, reposition the marker. This will add a new keyframe at the current position and you can always add new keyframes along the way to achieve the best result. Okay, this is better now. When the marker is set to a straight line, the parameters are changed from one center option to two points to define the line. You can easily reposition the line directly in the viewer or change the parameter values in the inspector. Check the arrowhead option to have a line with an arrowhead pointer. Increase the border width to have a larger arrow line. Or change the cap style to have rounded points. When using dashed options, the marker is actually made of special text characters. The styles of dashed characters are controlled with the options in this section. Click the sample button to see some predefined styles you can choose from. Increase or decrease the number character to resize the marker. To use your own character for the dashed marker, you can set the dash character option to empty and enter the ones you want to use in the custom character field. For example, by entering this tilde sign, we can create a wavy line. Adjust the number of characters and spacing to fine tune the look and feel if needed. You may change the font to get some interesting results you like. When using dashed rectangles, the characters may not fit properly at the corners. In this case, 
you can adjust the V-anchor value to achieve a better result. By default, this effect enables the write-on effect to draw the border line in 15 frames at the beginning and erase the line at the end. When it's enabled, you can change the start position to determine where the line starts. To turn off the in and out animation, set the time to zero. You can also enable the fade in and out effect by checking this option. The next set of options is used for animation effects across the entire clip duration. Repeating effect repeats the in and out animation. You can increase or decrease the speed parameter to change the animation speed. Pulsing effect zooms in and out the marker. You can change the zoom factor with the strength parameter. Glowing glows the marker at the speed and strength as specified by the parameters. Enable the blinking option to show and hide the marker repeatedly, achieving a blinking effect. When the bouncing option is enabled, the marker bounces in the direction specified by the angle parameter. Except for the arrow line, it will always bounce in the same direction of the arrow line. In which case the angle parameter is not available. As we change the arrow direction, the bouncing animation also adjusts automatically. Crawling effect moves the line continuously. When the line is solid, nothing seems to be animated. Reducing the length can reveal the effect. Or set the marker to a dashed circle or rectangle. If you want, you can enable all these effects together. or a few of them as needed. All right, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and find the template useful. Please feel free to leave any comments or suggestions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.